In this example, we're going to review how to calculate amount of each drug to complete a combination chemotherapy treatment. So you may see a total of a certain number of cycles where you're asked how much of each drug or a particular drug would be needed for the entirety of the treatment. Um, in this example, I'm only going to illustrate doxorubicin. And this comes from the fifth edition version of the textbook on page 194, page question number 41. So as I mentioned, we're only going to focus on the doxorubicin as an example, but you can see we have the patient's information, the diagnosis, the age, the weight, the height of the patient, uh, the regimen itself. Um, note that this cycle of these three medications will be repeated every three weeks for a total of six cycles. So that will be important when we are calculating the amount needed. And then you can see the components of the treatment. So the cyclophosphamide, uh, doxorubicin, and the venchristine. So let's get started. So essentially we have the information we need what we don't have is a body surface area. And the reason that we need that is because everything is currently in meters squared. So we know that we need to come up with the body surface area, which is always in meters squared, in order to be able to calculate the doxorubicin amount. So we can use a nomogram. Um, I use the nomogram found on page 176 of the textbook. You can also calculate it out. Um, I'm going to give it to you right now. So for this gentleman, based on his weight and his height, his body surface area is about 2.13 meters squared. And again, I use the nomogram on page 176 for that. And as I mentioned, I'm only concerned at this point in this example, just to keep it simple, um, as far as one of the components. So I'll illustrate how to do the doxorubicin calculation. So doxorubicin, we've been given... 45 uh, milligrams per metered squared. And we now know that our body surface area is 2.13 meters squared. So we're just going to essentially solve. We're going to cancel out our meter squared and we will get 95.85 milligrams. Now, be very clear though that this 95.85 milligrams is only for one day of that cycle. So we need to keep going. So 95.85 milligrams times one day, but we're asked to figure this out for the entirety of all six cycle. So we solve and we very simply get 575 milligrams. So again, this is 575 milligrams of doxorubicin would be needed for the entire six cycles of therapy.